Hi folks, Matt Easton here. This is a topic I have touched on in previous videos, but uh, just to uh, reiterate it and mention again and remind you that um, swords, no matter how sharp they are, are um, not magical, they're not lightsabers, they're not magical cutting devices or indeed thrusting devices. And um, all I want to say in this short video is that um, thick clothing or fabric can sometimes and did often stop them. Okay, so we all know that there are types of armour that are padded, that's a padded armour, but even more than that, just a uniform or clothing can be enough to stop a sword cut or a sword thrust. And there are many famous examples of this happening throughout history. Uh, off the top of my head, there's a famous example in the uh, charge of the Light Brigade in the Crimean War in 1854, where um, British cavalry troopers found that, uh, some of them found they had they couldn't cut through Russian greatcoats, that's just like a, a trench coat essentially, a woolen trench coat, um, and equally some of them found they couldn't get the point through either. Okay, and, and just to just to grab something here, so this is a, a theatrically made but fairly authentically made cloak. Okay, so um, I've spoken in the past about the cloak and rapier, and a, a cloak is very uh, able to stop a cut from a rapier and indeed catch a thrust from a rapier as well. Uh, but that's a, a real cloak and a real arm, and this is a real saber. And you'll see I am hitting myself in the arm with a few wraps of. I'm not hitting as hard as I can, I have to point out, because I do want to keep my left arm and not, not risk it too much. But you can see I'm not really slowing the blade down very much. Ow! That's starting to hurt a bit. But I can assure you I'm not bruised. And even if this was uh, sharper, it's uh, slightly sharp but not very sharp, um, a straight blow is never going to cut through fabric like this. And equally, if the fabric was uh, clothing, was a uniform on your body, it's very difficult to cut through something like a, a 19th century um, soldier's um, woolen tunic, uh, woolen jacket that they'd be wearing. Um, it's not an easy job to cut or thrust people who are wearing stuff, essentially. And a lot of the time when we do uh, test cutting, you know, we're cutting plastic bottles or tatami mats or maybe rolled up wet newspaper. And these might be, uh, these might teach us certain things about cutting, but I can assure you, because uh, I've done it, if you take, uh, so take a melon, for example, which is very easy to cut, pretty much anybody, any noob, can cut, it, cut through a melon with a sharp sword, as long as they don't hit it with the flat, as long as you hit with the edge and go through it, uh, it's easy to cut. However, if you then wrap it in, in, a, in an old jacket or a, you know, like something like a school blazer or something that's a bit woolen. Cotton is not very resistive, but especially things that are woolen, um, then it's, it's not incredibly difficult to cut through it, uh, but it's certainly harder, certainly more difficult. And what you often find is your cuts become more superficial. Um, so what I've found, um, I've used sleeves from old jackets wrapped around various items of uh, fruit and vegetable. And what I've found is that often the blade will slice through half of the, uh, or some of the clothing, and into the thing underneath. But then it will get stuck and caught up. And that's, that's an interesting thing to uh, take note of as well, of course, is that um, if you don't cut and slice out, uh, your weapon can easily get stuck in the clothing. It might get stuck in the person's body and they might die, but you don't really want your weapon to be stuck in a dead person. Okay? Um, so, clothing and fabric, be it cloaks or even you know, just jackets or um, just what the person's wearing in their ev everyday wear, make a big difference to how a sword will perform. Um, generally speaking, I think it is fair to say that thrusts are easier to get through clothing than cuts. Uh, clothing, uh, padding or, or fabric of any kind is more of a problem where cuts are involved. But if you are cutting against clothed things, it, it uh, forces you to remember to slice, to draw or, draw or push with the cut and not simply hit the thing. If you just blap hit the thing uh, perpendicular, you're much less likely to do any damage to something with some kind of resistive covering to the, to the flesh and the skin. Uh, if you give a draw to it, you're more likely to cut through that surface and then wound the thing underneath. So, something to think about. Cheers.